I'm going to show you guys how to set up Concrete Labs Performer iPad app with uh, Twisted Tools Scapes. Uh, I'm going to launch Performer here. And Performer opens and you may see something similar to this. Uh, it may look a little bit different depending on your settings. Uh, but there's one node uh, that I have going right now and you can see I already have it mapped to something in Scapes. When I move uh, this node around, you see things happening uh, inside Escape. So let me show you how to set this up. Uh, it's pretty easy. It takes just about a minute. I'm going to double click the button in the upper right hand corner, which gets me into the settings page uh, for Concrete Performer. Now, if I want more than one node, I can drag this over here and get up to 10 nodes to play with or just use one. I'm going to use one right now just to keep things uh, simple. Uh, but basically what you want to do is you want to make sure that these settings here, the output settings um, over here, are set up to match Reactor's uh, settings. So I'm going to go into Reactor, go to File, OSC Settings, and you'll see the local IP address. You should have a number like this. It'll probably be different, but you should have a number like this. You want to make sure that that number is entered into the output section here in Concrete Labs uh, Performers Settings page. The next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the port settings as well are the same for the output. So you'll see it says output 10,000. You want to make sure that it says uh, the same number that you have here inside of Reactor. So just double click that on Concrete Performer and enter in a number if that's not correct. Um, once you're, you've done that, you're basically done as far as the connection goes. Uh, if I flip this over, I could test it out by moving my node around and looking at the Reactor OS, OSC monitor. You can see that information is coming in uh, when I move this node into Reactor and I'm good to go. So now what I want to do is I want to go into my Reactor Ensemble Scapes and choose uh, how I want to use Concrete Performer. So um, I'm going to set up that this first node here to control, uh, let's say, pitch uh, right now. So if I right click and I go to pitch one properties, this is the slider for uh, the pitch control for voice number one inside Escapes. Um, I'm going to select properties, go to OSC source and choose any one of these messages coming from Concrete Performer. Now these are all here because I already set up Concrete Performer in the past to use up to 10 nodes, uh, but in this case we are only using one node, so you want to use these uh, options here that say node 1 or n1. So these are the different parameters coming in from Concrete Labs if you want to read up on what these all do and what these mean. Uh, there's information on Concrete Labs website. I'm going to set up the x value here and I've now mapped the X value of node number one to uh, pitch, which is pretty cool. So I could go from left to right and get changes happening uh, in pitch right now. And I could go up and down and set up the Y value to do something else as well. Uh, why don't I go and get the Y value as well going to pitch? So I'm going to go uh, node number one Y value. And now you'll see that I could do uh, up and down or left and right. Uh, to affect that pitch control. Now, I don't kind of, I don't like that, so I'm going to go ahead and delete the Y value here, and I'm going to set up the Y value to control something else by right-clicking, going to the properties, and choosing the OSC source Y value for node number one. So now, if I go X, I'm controlling uh, the first voice pitch control. If I go Y, I'm controlling the second. So now I could do some stuff like that, which is kind of fun, uh, and you see a whole bunch of stuff happening. So. Uh, it's up to you really how you want to set this up. Uh, another cool tip is you might want to get it so that when you're touching uh, uh, nodes that you get a randomization to happen. Uh, the way I did that in the videos that you saw uh, previously using uh, Scapes and KP is I basically went into the master randomizer knob, went to the rand all properties here, and chose OSC source trigger, which basically makes it so that when I trigger in the middle there, uh, I could randomize all parameters inside of Scapes. So hopefully that uh, helps to get you started. Uh, if you own Scapes, we'll update a version of Scapes soon uh, to the download section. If you're a registered user, you could go and download a pre-mapped version of Scapes. Uh, we should have that up hopefully by the end of the day today. So thanks a lot and good luck and have fun.